Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at BMW of Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm going to be going over MPGE. So, number one question that we get, especially people that are looking into uh, plug-in hybrids and the upcoming full electric vehicles, is what on earth is MPGE? So a lot of people think it's miles per gallon electric, but that is incorrect. It means miles per gallon equivalent. So I can go into a bunch of reasons why and how the EPA actually makes their um, calculations, all the math that goes into it. But instead of doing that today, I'm sure there are plenty of YouTubers out there that can do that for you, is uh, to simply just say it's an efficient, it's a general way to measure an electrified vehicle's efficiency. That is the simplest way to go about it. So the higher that number, that means the more efficient the car is while using electricity. So I guess the main thing that's kind of go over if you're looking into this is when you look at that sticker, how to look at it, how to read it, how to understand it. So simple and straightforward. Let's get started. Right here I have the window sticker for 2022 X5 xDrive 45E. That's the plug-in hybrid of the X5. And going over what we see right here. So, simple and straightforward. Oop, come on, man. Stay up. Should have thought that through better. Looking at this guy right here, you have your MPGE. Again, that's miles per gallon equivalent, not electric, as well as normal MPG. So, that part is based on gasoline only, and this part is based on electric and gas. So, what that means is, the way, best way to look at it, consider this your potential, not guaranteed, but potential miles per gallon if you're going to have your car plugged in and fully charged every single time you take it for a drive. So when you look at this little scale right down here, it tells you you have about 31 miles of electric only range and then up to 400 miles for the rest of the range. Meaning if you start off with this car with a full tank of gas and a full charge, you will get about 400 miles. Now, of course, you look at that, compare that to the normal X5, <clears throat> X540i and you're gonna say, well, I mean, that one gets about 507 miles of estimated range and better fuel efficiency. Think about this, though. This guy is also carrying around more weight for the battery pack and, and all the electrics uh, that are added to it. What you get here is basically 31 miles and then the rest. But if you plug in every single day, you probably will get closer, if not exceed, this. Now, again, it all is dependent on how you drive, where you drive. Lots of factors go into exactly what happens. But this guy really pays for itself. Because think about this. If you are fully charged every single day, that's 31 miles times 30 days. That's over 900 miles of electric range a month. Right? That's before you even go into any of the gas. So if you drive in electric only, which you can do, I've gone over that in other videos with that. I'm going to link that up in this corner over here. But look at uh, all those videos. If you do have uh, further questions about that, I go into more of the driving modes and things of that nature. But again, the concept behind it is simply a general measure of efficiency for electrified vehicles is what MPGE is. And again, that is simply if you just got in the car with a full tank and a full charge and just simply drove it expect to get around 400 miles. Uh, for those of you that are still new to PHEVs and want to know, like, what's the point of it? I could break it down very simply. One of the main reasons to go for a PHEV is sometimes you may not be in the, you may not be in the market or even capable of going for full electric capability, right? So not everyone has something like a level two charger to get the most out of a full electric vehicle. And you don't have the ability to, you know, wait for your occasional use charger or level one charger, as they call it, uh, to charge up your car in sometimes as much as 24 hours, you know, 18, 24 hours, depending on the size of the battery. Now, for instance, the X5, when plugged in to level one charger, can take about 17 and a half hours at 10 amps to charge on an occasional use charger. Now, that drops down to about five hours when you switch up to a level two charger. So, obviously, level two is going to be significantly more efficient. But even if you can't do that, the nice thing about electrified vehicles that aren't full electric is you can still get to qualify for the tax break. Obviously, we are not tax professionals. We're not going to sit there and tell you, hey, you are going to qualify for this. Talk to your tax professional to know for sure exactly what you will get and if you qualify for it. Um, the other thing about it is it's also a credit 
it is not a rebate. Rebates are just automatically given to you, whereas credits is basically, if you owe, say, six, if uh, this one gets you $7,500 in tax, tax credit, if you only pay $4,000 in federal tax, then you only get $4,000 back. Uh, but if you, if you have uh, $10,000 uh, in taxes for federal, then you can get $7,500 back. So it basically, it's, it's up to, it's if you pay up to that, you can get up to that amount back. If you pay over that, you only get that max back. Anyway, again, non tax professionals, but basically a way to talk over it. Um, and of course, last thing to kind of show is flexibility, right? So if you do want to kind of use your electric around town and not dip into the gas, you drive under 20 miles a day, which most Americans do. Like most Americans average between 20 and 30 miles a day. That means that on the on the worst case scenario, you will benefit from you'll benefit from two thirds of your daily drive being electric only. If you on the best case scenario you drive underneath that, then you're going to be not even dipping into gas at all on just your daily drive. And then for those that do want it and they want to go the full length, you still have BMW's award winning engines. You have all the capability. So another thing that makes BMW apart is. We put our electric motor inside the transmission itself, meaning that if you have an X-Drive car, your car still has X-Drive, whether it's in electric mode or gas mode or both combined. You have the best of both worlds, right? And you always have your X-Drive efficiency. Now, next thing to kind of go over with that is if you are ever planning to just simply get on a road trip and go, fantastic do it you have the battery control mode that will keep the battery charged and just simply use gas for your long trips you still have the fast fill-ups of normal gas you're not sitting there waiting for dc fast charging which isn't even an option on phevs so plug-in hybrids uh as of right now there's only dc fast charging on all electric vehicles or bed vehicles battery electric vehicles uh and that's something to just kind of keep in mind so you the max you can do is level two which means zero to a hundred five hours, you know, give or take. Um, but yeah, that is that. Uh, another benefit about it is if you ever do have this, all PHEVs, they have basically the equivalent of remote engine start, except for this one runs off the battery. If you're plugged into a level two charger, you're not even going to use any battery. It uses the electric coming into the car itself to pre-warm or pre-cool that uh, cabin inside your car for before you leave. You can do it all through the My BMW app. There are lots of ways to go about it. You have things like um, anticipatory hybrid drive, where it's just simply you get in the car, put a destination into BMW's um, navigation, and by the time you get to your destination, it's used of as much of that electric as possible to give you the best possible fuel economy. So, I mean, it's kind of a win-win situation. Uh, obviously, if you drive significantly more, like you drive, say, 60 to 80 miles a day, you're probably not gonna benefit as much from a plug-in hybrid, unless you can literally charge uh, at home and at work, wherever you go. Uh, but even then, it, you're, you're going to see the benefits of it and the flexibility with no compromises to get the most out of your BMW, which is why I suggest if you haven't, try it, drive it. Come in and actually you know, experience one for yourself. You still get the great off the line response that you expect. You have more power than just your gas, gas equivalent. Uh, and you get better fuel economy. So again, come in, check it out. I highly suggest to test drive one. See if you can actually see a reason to not get one, even if you're doing level one charging. So consider it, look at it, view your options, stack them how you want to. And of course, last but not least, as I always say, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel to get more content like this, uh, as well as other genius breakdowns of features that you find in BMWs. Again, we are very, very, very close to growing this this uh, entire channel. I would love to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but if we only hit 4,000, that's fine too. You know, we greatly appreciate you. Remember to also tell us what you're looking for in the comments below, so that way we can give you more of the content that you, the subscriber or viewer, are looking for. With that, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great rest of your day or night. Have a good one.